This event is important because it's great that like-minded people who are supporting this function regarding BRGs and their businesses get together and understand not only best practices, but things that they shouldn't be doing. When people ask me, as the diversity officer, we get questions all the time. You know, one is, are we making progress? And my first question is, well, who's we? Because <laughs> right? when I report on the progress, I'm really summarizing what you're doing. And so my question is, do you think we're making progress? And usually what I hear, uh, what, I, what I think about is, are the, is this conversation being asked more than it was before, as opposed to are the numbers moving? Is it more relevant? Do people talk about it more? Is it part of a town hall? Is it part of an email? Is it part of an employee business newsletter? Do people see this more? And I think the answer is yes, but. I think we can make more progress because we don't, we're not acting in a way that's uh, um, where we're acting, uh, how would I say, where we're acting as a group. I think we still have spotted individual success, but if we actually put ourselves together by attending, let's say, events like this, to know that there are many more of us doing this, it could become more viral, if you will. I think we need to kind of band together in this industry, and I, don't think, I think with the work that we do with, with Carol and her team makes us band together, but we need to figure out how we take that and create that when we go back to our offices and not just wait for the next event for Carol to have. <laughs> if you are selling something and no one's buying your product, you really need to just close the store. And when you, so think about when you go to a mall and you see retail space open. Why is that store closed? Because they were selling stuff that no one wanted to buy. And so if you're running a BRG in your business and you find that you're constantly selling products, meaning the people in the BRG and their ideas and their events, but there's nothing coming this way. You might as well close up shop and take a step back and figure out what really should you be selling? What does your firm want to buy? Then you have more levity and you have more relevance and you have more prestige, you have more support. Then you have a team, you have a partnership versus you're always pushing this thing. And when you're pushing stuff like this, it's, it's not a good scene. That's a bad movie. Bad movies aren't good. When you think about your BRG, think about it as a brand of the company, right? If your company has a brand, how would they articulate and want to represent themselves in the public? So one of the examples that at our firm, when I looked at all the BRGs when I first joined, everybody had different logos. And the one that struck out to me was the picture of an ant, like a little, a little ant, a little, a little army ant. It was a red ant, quite frankly. And the ANT stand stood for something like administrative something something secretaries. And I thought, this is not right. This is not the way you want to present yourself in, in that function. And so we actually work with our communications people. We work with our marketing people to rebrand all of the BRGs. And now, the name of the old ant BRG is called SAGE, which stands for Secretaries Administrative Group something or other. And the brand looks like a Chase product. The same uh, color scheme, the same design. It went through the same process that we would go through if we were developing a credit card. And when they see their brand and their logo on a document or on an email, it's just like, wow, that's us. You just feel much better than this ant. When I think of ant, I think of itchy, scratchy, I don't feel good. When I say ants. I feel great when I think sage though. I think if I had to say what are the several things that people should leave with after this conference, especially after my remarks, I would say immediately they should figure out what are the business objectives of the firm that they work for and how do those business objectives match what they're doing with the business resource groups. The second thing I would say is, what is the infrastructure that they set up for these groups to actually operate? Do they have senior leaders on them? Are they high potential people? Do they have enough senior su support? And that sort of thing. And the third thing, which is more important, is how are they going to measure this stuff? If they were asked by the board of directors, what did you do with the money that we gave you? You have these many chapters and these many members. What's the ROI?